Hey guys, in this video, I will be reviewing no code data extraction and work automation platform called Hexomatic, which is from the same developers of Hexometer and Hexowatch. Coming up. Before starting this video, I would like to disclose that the founder emailed me, gave me a complimentary access to Hexomatic for creating a video review. Nevertheless, even if I would have not gotten the complimentary access, I would have recorded this video review because their roadmap and also the change log is really impressive. Compared to what I checked two months ago now, it has got a lot of automation modules that I will be exploring. Coming to the pricing, they have a free plan that is quite limited and they have bronze, silver and gold plan. So if you want to get access to 2000 automation credits and five simultaneous running workflows, then you may need to go with the bronze plan and their gold plan uh, comes with more automation credits starting from 10,000 automation credits and you have simultaneous running workflows unlimited and you also have API access. As of now, me recording this video, they are running a lifetime deal on AppSumo. That means you get lifetime access to Hexomatic at a one of fee. They have uh, single code, double code, multiple codes. You can stack up to uh, 10 codes here. So with their single code, you won't get access to API feature and unlimited simultaneous running workflows. If you want to get access to more of their automation credits, uh, these are general credits, not premium credits that I will be discussing shortly, then you may want to go with their multiple codes. The link for this lifetime deal is given in the description. That is akshay.it slash hexomatic. This is my affiliate link. If you end up making any purchase through my link, I will end up earning a small commission without any additional cost for you. Well, this is the dashboard. Here you get credit usage, traffic usage, and all the workflows that you have created. And here you have the workflow. Workflow is where multiple modules, the building blocks, those are automations and scraping modules will communicate with each other. And you have scraping recipes for doing web scraping and automation modules that I will be describing and settings. Under settings, you have email notifications, API or webhook and all the other native integrations with Google Sheets, Discord, Telegram, Slack, and much more. And you have light mode and dark mode access options here as well. So let me head over to a light mode for this video. And there are two types of credits. So here I'm on their gold LTD plan and I have 10,000 monthly regular automation credits. Along with that, I have premium credits that I can use against, you know, Google Vision API or text-to-speech API uh, kind of automations. So I have bonus one-time credits of 145. Uh, I can even get more monthly premium credits by selecting a plan here. Like if I want 50 premium credits on a monthly basis, that's not stackable. Like, I mean, uh, it, this is not like one off credits. Then you need to go with $5 monthly plan. They don't have one off credits. That may be a downside if you want to make use of their premium automations. Speaking of their automations, when I head over to automations here, these are all the building blocks inside of a workflow. Okay, so there are various types of automations, premium automations that consume premium credits along with the regular credits that come with your plan and crowdsourced automations wherein human interference is required to make some decisions in the middle of the automation and also built-in automations that only require regular credits not premium credits and you have automations across various categories and here you can see this is an example of a premium automation okay automatically converts audio files into text or a text-to-speech that makes use of Google's text-to-speech algorithm. So let me open this and here below you can see premium automations, uh, it consumes one regular credit and premium credit 0 0.0008. That's quite a bit, like only this much premium credit for every run, okay? So I can just click on and create a workflow that starts with this, right? Before that, let me also explain you about scraping recipes. So it lets me scrape a website and get the structured data from that web page. Let me create a new recipe here. And here I need to enter in a URL. Uh, let me enter in some URL. Uh, so let me paste in a URL, Product Hunt uh, Productivity Apps, a catalog of productivity apps on Product Hunt. So I can select browser mode as fast as full stack, unless I have a web page that is complex and have a lot of elements on the iframe or embedding, then like I don't want to use full stack. And I can select the data center. Say if you are making use of Google search 
uh, a lot of times and you don't want to risk your IP from getting banned from Google or uh, blacklisted by Google, then you can make use of their data center proxy from Hexomatic. Unlike other tools like TexAU or Artila, you don't need to make additional purchase of proxy because as this is a cloud-based solution, like proxy is built in. So I can preview, it will just load the essentials of this web page as it's not full stack. And now I need to select the elements that I need to scrape from this web page. So the first product here is promoted. So let me skip that. The second one is Slack. So let me select this and select all so that all this text, the product names will be selected. And let me name this as something like say product underscore name and select this as text. So now the product names are being scraped. Let me tick this. And now the next thing would be the product URL in product hunt. So I have various options. So let me select all and I can just name this as product hunt URL. Let me select link URL. Yes, this is the thing. This is a relative URL. Okay. This is a relative URL. Actually the full URL is product hunt.com slash post slash slack before sending this data to say other modules, say Google sheets, you may need to make this a complete URL for it to be usable that I will be uh, walking you down when I'm explaining the workflows. Let me take this. And now the next one is the product summary. So let me select this and select all and here product summary and let me select this as text. That's good. Now, if I have pagination on this site, um, then I can just uh, select the pagination buttons at the bottom and select pagination automatic or advanced. And I have different options like typing, filling the forms, clicking, scrolling, delays, cookies, and many other advanced options. So for this video, let me keep the things simple. And here I can add custom element in case if there are any elements on this web page that's not simply selectable by selector, then you can just copy the X path of that element and just enter in the HTML selector X path so that you can programmatically scrape certain elements that are not really uh, scrapable in a straightforward way. And I can just select the productivity tools ph hyphen p okay productivity and let me save this so i can't scrape this just like this any scraper need to be attached to a workflow so inside workflow you can have multiple scraping recipes automation recipes linked together so let me head over to workflows and here i can just go to new workflow and I have different types of workflows. I can just browse their template library that are pre-built. These are not like community driven uh, workflow library. These are just built from the team themselves or else you have some sheet or an initial data input for the workflow. You can select this if that's the case or else you can just head to their automations page and like just select any of the automations to begin with or else you can just create a new workflow and select a scraping recipes to begin with. And now I have already created a recipe right product hunt productivity so I can use existing now I have this workflow ph productivity so I can select this and now what to do with the data that is extracted in this scraping module what to do the first thing that you can remember is I need to convert the relative URL of the individual products to complete URL so what I can do here I can head over to automations and I need to replace the relative URL of the products with that of the complete URL so I can select a source, say product hunt uh, product URL. There you go. You can select this from text. So the text would be something like this, right? Hope you can remember the relative URL. So I just need to select this and operation would be prepend. I need to prepend it with producthunt.com, right? So that the URL will be complete producthunt.com slash post slash slack. That is a product URL. And now after that, I need to make this into a Google sheet. So I can just go to automations and just type in sheet and I can export or sync with the Google sheet and I can select Google sheet account that I've already integrated with in settings. Hope you can remember and I can select this and select a spreadsheet that's already existing or else I can add a new spreadsheet and I can name this as uh, product hunt productivity ph hyphen p and now I can just name this as something like ph productivity and continue 
and now I have the options like I have option to run this workflow now or schedule it later in a day or a time run manually or run on a recurring basis and when the run has been completed it sends an email that hey workflow has been completed on a weekly basis so weekly basis if you want to check if there are any new products in the productivity space in product hunt then you can do that right as of now, I'm not going to run this workflow. I have already run a similar product hunt workflow that I will be going through. Here you go. Here I have a workflow that I've already run. So when I go to download the result, I can download this as CSV, JSON or Google Sheet. Let me open that Google Sheet. It will open Google Sheets in a new tab. There you go. This is the URL from which it got this product. That is the main scripting URL, product name, product URL and product tagline. So this will keep this in sync say if i uh, schedule this workflow to be uh, run every week right every week this data will be replaced because uh, i'm making use of google sheet export or sync feature here or else i can head over to amazon affiliate sites in this workflow what i have done here is uh, i just want to create a google search to get all the probable amazon affiliate sites so how do you find Amazon affiliate sites uh, on Google? Almost all the Amazon affiliate sites have this disclaimer text. Uh, that is, this blog is a participant in the Amazon services and associates program and stuff like that. This is a footprint. So I will be searching for this keyword on Google, right? And all the sites that are ranking for this particular footprint are Amazon affiliate sites, right? They are disclosing their affiliate uh, partnership with Amazon. So I will be scraping 100 search results with all these settings and now I need to get traffic insights from uh, the domains that it has scraped. Okay. And again, add in more and more automations on top of this. I've already run this. So let me close this. And now here I can just download the results, Amazon affiliate sites as Google sheet. There you go. So this is the keyword for which these sites are analyzed. And this, these are all the URLs of the sites the rank group rank obsolete a domain the title cache url breadcrumbs global rank not found i'm not sure why it's not finding the global alexa rank properly site description search organic traffic from traffic insights and many more metrics so what if you are having a special amazon affiliates plugin for wordpress you can easily scrape the emails for all these results by making use of their email finding features and you also have their search traffic on your hand so that you can personalize your emails in a much more impactful way so that you can get more replies out of your cold outreach campaigns. Well, the use cases are endless. You can do permutation and combination on all the available automations, the scraping recipes, and you can come up with a unique solution for your workflow. You can make use of this tool for automated new video alerts for the set keywords, applying to jobs automatically, or for automatically outreaching to people who have recently launched their deal on say Stack Social by making use of their API or webhook integrations. The possibilities are endless. So what's the difference between Hexomatic and other competing tools like Artilla or TextAU? So I would consider TextAU to be a social media automation platform than that of Hexomatic. And also compared to that of Artilla or even TextAU, Hexomatic is a completely cloud-based solution. And also you don't need to expend or invest your money again in a proxy solution because Hexomatic comes with inbuilt proxy solution. And many people are also asking what's the difference between Hexomatic and Robomotion RPA. Those two are not competing products, okay? Those two complement each other. And like RPA is used to automate certain things on your browser and also on your software, similar to that of macro software like Keyboard Maestro or Max Automator. For general web scraping, data extraction, and also enriching your data by making use of AI like Google Vision API and much more, then Hexomatic would be the right fit for you. And also, unlike Artilla, uh, you don't need to have coding knowledge in order to make the most use of Hexomatic. And when it comes to their roadmap, I'm particularly excited about their AI content feature that's coming up and also their integrations with Zapier integrately that unlocks a whole new realm of possibilities. But Hexomatic comes with a couple of downsides. The first one is 
premium credits. So the premium credits that you get are not rollover credits. You need to spend $5 every month to get 50 premium credits per month. And also uh, the process times are pretty low as of now. Hopefully they will be improvising on this. Hope you guys love this video. In case if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'm out.